Hi everybody, I'm Maggie Weldon from Maggie'sCrochet.com and this video is dedicated to Debbie Whitmore. She called in and requested that we make this video for her. So Debbie, this one's for you. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this super, super easy bunny. And you start out by making a little square and it's actually an upside down heart if you look at it. And then you um, make this chain and then you join on here and then you chain out and work the ears back. It's, it's really uh, very, very easy. And then you add the little bow and the nose and the eyes. So uh, my first version of this was done in worsted white yarn, but I thought it'd be fun to try this little fuzzy um, bulky white yarn. And I really love the way this turned out. And this would be really cute for a lapel pin or you could use it for an applique on something. Or if you did it in the lighter yarn, you could put a magnet on the back and use it for a cute little fridgy. And this is one of eight Easter projects for 2014 that we're doing on YouTube. And make sure that you subscribe to our channel, like, share, and comment on our videos because it really helps us out a lot. And I hope that you have a great happy Easter and thank you very much for watching. Here's a close-up of the adorable little bunny fridgy and you'll be very surprised to see how easy this is to make. It starts with a square and then you slip stitch to the corner and make a shell, slip stitch, and another shell, finish off and then you chain and add on and then chain out and come back and create the ears and then you just embellish it with the eyes and the pom-pom and the ribbons. So to get started, uh, for this one I used a number five bulky weight yarn. And then for the next sample, I'm gonna try this um, cuddle fleece yarn, which has a little bit of texture to it. So um, I'm gonna start with a slip knot. I'm gonna make a loop like this. And this is to, um, this video is going to be um, dedicated to Debbie Whitmore who asked that we make this video for her. So Debbie, this video is for you. So you start with a slip knot and the strand that goes over the top you fold across the back like this and then you pull that back strand forward. There's a knot side and a slip side. You just pull on the knot side and then put the big loop on your hook like this and pull on the slip side like that. And then in the beginning it says to chain one and that is your center chain and then chain three and that counts as your first double crochet. So one, two, and three like that. And then it says to double crochet into the center chain. So the center chain was that first chain there. So I'm just going to work a double crochet into there. And then it says two double crochets. No, it says chain two, like that. And then work three double crochets into the center chain. like that and then chain two and that creates a corner and then again three doubles into the center chain and then chain two for the next corner so now I've got three sides a partial side and two full sides And don't worry about the hole getting too big in the, for the center chain because I can pull on this strand and then tighten it up. Okay, like that. And then I chain two 
and work one more double into the center chain to complete that side that I started with, like there. So my beginning chain three counted as my first double, so, and I did one other double, so this double here completes that side. So now it says to join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet. So I'm just going to join right here. So the first double crochet is the third chain of the beginning chain three. So I have one, two, and three right there. So I'm going to go into the third chain with a slip stitch. So I just drop a loop and bring that through the loop on my hook. And that's the end of round one. I have four chain two spaces and four groups of three double crochets. So now it says to slip stitch in next double crochet and chain two space. So there's that and then I just go right into the chain two space like this with a slip stitch like that. And then it says to skip the next double crochet, which is the first double crochet of that three double crochet group, and work seven double crochets into the next double crochet. So it's the center double crochet of the three double crochet group. So I'm going to yarn over, go draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. And I'm going to do six more double crochets into that same double crochet. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five. I just need two more. Six and seven. So that, that creates one of the cheeks that you see right here. Okay, now all you do is slip stitch into the corner chain two space right here and then draw that out. And then again, skip the next double crochet and seven double crochets into the center double crochet of the next three double crochet group. So I'm going to yarn over and then I'm going to work seven double crochets to create the next little bunny cheek. Okay, now I need to count and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the next chain two space right there and just bring that through and then I'm going to yarn over and chain one. I'm going to pull the back to tighten it and then I'm going to come in here with my scissors and I'm going to cut back here. There. So there's the little bunny face and if you pull this back here, you don't want to pull it like too tight, but if you pull it, you can close up that little hole there. And then with a um, yarn needle, you just go in and sew that, secure that um, closed. Okay, now for the ears, it says to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then it says wrong side facing. So the side I was just working on, these loops are kind of like facing me of the stitches and this is the side that I was did all my work on. I never turned. That's the right side. So now I want to turn it to the wrong side like this 
and in the directions when I got done right here when I uh, joined here it said to mark the next corner so the next corner is right here and then now in the directions for the ears it says to working on wrong side so this is the wrong side and the directions say to chain eight and then join with a slip stitch to the marked corner so you just go in here yarn over and then bring that through the loop that's on your hook like that so this is the foundation chain for one of the ears so now it says to chain 10 and that'll be for the other ear one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay see what's happening isn't that neat okay then it says to turn so now my ears are going to be on the right side but I had to be on the wrong side to create the foundation chains for the ears I think it's pretty nifty how that's done okay now it says to double crochet in the fourth chain from hook so I have one two three and four so I want to double crochet in there and then it says to double crochet in the next two chains just like that then it says to half double crochet in the next three chains so I'm on the right side of my chain like this and I'm rolling it forward so I have my two ovals facing me but I'm just going in the top strand of the chain okay there's my three half double crochets now it says to work three single crochets in the next chain so all three go in the same chain and that those three single crochets are what makes the ear like curve up like this and then it pushes them down okay now it says to slip stitch into the chain two space so you want to go right over the slip stitch from the joining of that um, chain eight strand and into the chain two space of round one so you just go over all of this here insert your hook drop a loop and then bring that through the loop on your hook and then now you're going to work across the next chain and you can try to roll it towards you like this so this is like the back of the chain and then I'm just going to roll it forward so I see the fronts of the chains but it's not really crucial to the pattern you can work in the back of the chain if you want to so I'm just going to roll it forward and make sure that I have the very first chain which is right here and I'm going to work three single crochets in that one it's just like a mirror image of the other ear so there's my three right there and then I'm going to work a half double crochet let me just go in one here I'm going to work just in the top loops I'm going to work half double crochet in the next three chains like that and then I'm going to double crochet in the next three chains and then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to slip stitch in the last chain just like that okay so that completes my bunny actually look at so now my ears are on the right side and they're mirror images of each other and that's pretty nifty so now um, to finish off I'm going to take this strand and move it over there I'm just going to chain one I'm going to tighten the back side of that chain I'm going to cut in the back here and then I'm going to go back and sew my ends in I could have um, worked over this end with these stitches but most of the time I just sew my ends in so let me show you really quick how I sew my ends in okay had to find a yarn needle okay so in the back here 
you want to pull on this just a little you don't want to depending on what kind of yarn you're using and you can use any kind of yarn in this um, little uh, bunny and you can use this as a fridgy or you could just uh, use it as a pin or you could use it as an applique and leave a long end and then sew it to something so anyway um, let me back up here so right here is where my yarn came out and I'm just going to feed my yarn needle back in a little bit, about a half inch. And then it came out right here. I'm going to go behind it, maybe about a, I don't know, like an eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to come back out. I'm going through the center of the stitches with my yarn needle. And then I went about a half inch out. And then I'm going to do that again and keep doing that until I feel like it's going to stay in there forever. And then I always cut flat. I never cut down into my work. Okay. And one more time, let me show you how I thread my needle too. Okay. So this end right here, what I do is I take the side of my needle like this and I pinch the yarn over the side of the needle and I, my fingers are still really pinched and then I turn the eye of the needle so the opening is right over that fold between my pinched fingers. Then I open my pinched fingers up and I slide the eye of the needle over the fold. And then I grab the fold on the other side of the eye and I pull it through like that. And then for this one, since it's right here, you could undo that there, that little chain, and just um, put your end in so you don't have that little knot there, or else you could just make sure that it gets tucked in super good in the back. So I've done it both ways, but see if you pull it in the back, you hardly see that. So you can just, um, just sew your end in however you want. You don't want uh, it to show on the right side. So make sure all your ends get sewn in on the wrong side. So then you would just, um, for the pom-poms, I used, let me see, a three-quarter inch on this one. And um, a smaller size that might be good if you're using worsted weight yarn or half-inch pom-poms. And then just little eyes. I don't know what size these eyes are. Um, I think they're... 12 millimeter and then just whatever ribbon you have that you want to coordinate with it so Debbie I hope you enjoyed this vid video and I hope all of you enjoyed this video and the links to everything are listed below make sure you subscribe or like or share our videos and I want to thank you very much for watching Draw up a loop, draw through two, draw through one. Yarn over. Or if you accidentally drop it, those um, loops won't fall off your hook. So now I'm going to continue on. Skip that one. Pick up this one. Skip. Skip. 